Welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. And in this segment, I'm going to show you how to draw another Triskel's pattern, but one that spirals the opposite direction. So I'm getting up my straight edge, and I'm making a horizon line. Getting out my coin. I just think it's a good idea to use the biggest one that you have that's round. Try to center it so you think it's right on the horizon line in two hemispheres. Estimate where the center is. I think it's about there. Okay, so I'm going to put my pencil down here and bring it in and just look see where I think it looks there. Great. Estimate where you think the center of these two circles are. And I'm putting my pencil down there and I'm bringing the coin down to it. I'm holding on to it and I'm looking at these two parts. I just want them to be even. And I lightly trace over it. There, now we've got that nice trifold. Where these, this line is right here, just estimate where you think it is there. Bring in the coin, move it till these two parts here are even, okay? And we're going to mark a three-quarter turn going counterclockwise, starting at about 3 o'clock, if this is 12. Okay, so we're going to do that again on this side. So we're going to approximate it right there. Put my pencil here. Bring down the coin. I want to see that these two are as even as they can get. I'm going to make that arc. So, so from here to here, right in the center spot, we can conveniently use that again. Bringing the coin down and I'm just seeing that these two are even, okay? I'm just making a three-quarter Nice. Okay, so hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to move this just down a little bit. There, that should work. So, mark where you think the center is of each circle. And then in the center of our trifold here. freehand circle on it, okay? So, this one spirals in a clockwise going out, we're going to do counterclockwise, okay? So, mark this into thirds. This one's going to go into thirds. This way so you can see from this that it will spiral inwards okay but we're gonna start right here I'm gonna bring this in to the first quarter same with the side lightly sketch a curve going to the third another curve to there this one's going to go to about the halfway mark. All right. So we're coming back to here. 
so remaining at the top, okay? So this one will come to the first, curve into the first third and be right about there. All right, so now I'm gonna get my thin pigment liner. circle make this curve as smooth and continuous as I can with one stroke I'm gonna repeat that over here okay I'm using my pencil line as a guide and I may want to change the curve slightly myself. All right. Now, imagine that this one reaches here like so. And this one goes and then starts to change direction, okay? There we go. If you look at the uh, Triscoll pattern that the artisans made on the uh, Amphrible helmet, you'll notice that it's not mathematically perfect. <laughs> it's done by hand. So that should tell you not to be afraid of making a mistake because you want it to look natural and pleasing, okay? So I'm using my thicker liner. And I'm just gonna start to draw it in over the curve. And as long a stroke as is comfortable. Okay. So again, the number three are the Triskel to the ancient Gauls or the Celts was definitely a significant number. A lot of modern um, theorists are that it represents eternity. And it's probably because it's a never ending cycle of the sun and the moon, the two celestial objects that mankind is dependent on for knowing when to plant and when to harvest as well as having a good season. But we can only know if there's going to be a good season by observing. Right, so you can start to fill in the, uh, the lines as you wish. Little, just getting a little thicker which, with each stroke. Use that as a template. Thanks for joining me. If you have any recommendations, please feel free to leave a comment or to email me directly at jason at bellchamber.net. This is my own website. Thank you for watching.